Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the 17th video of our LZH Project series. And in this video we will talk about uh, how to back up your data in Linux CLI. And the tools we'll be using is rsync and rsnapshot. So let's start with rsync. And rsync is basically available in Jump repository and it can be downloaded like in the CentOS repository and it can be downloaded with yum. So in order to check if we already have installed uh, RP rsync, we will just query with rpm sorry rsync and it reveals that rsync is already installed. So in order to uh, see what at the moment, what we are going to do is we are going to back up our data from lzh-project server to lzh-server2. Both have uh, different IP addresses. Uh, lzh-project has IP ADDR show. It has 192.168.1.250 IP address. And right now we are using tmux and this tutorial has been uh, posted earlier so and show ipaddr show reveals that server 2 is using 192.168.1.245 so we will be copying data from 1.250 to 245 let's clear the screen go back to the top uh, server Okay, and I hope that you guys have already watched my earlier video regarding uh, SSH, like how we can make a passwordless less authentication between two servers. So it would be really helpful if you guys haven't watched that video. I would really encourage you to go and watch that right away before attempting to uh, do this rsync experiment with your CentOS. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to ask you password every time you will run the rsync command. So, so let's start with rsync, and you can always install rsync with rsync. Okay, but I already have, so I don't need to, uh, I don't need to do that. Okay, so let's uh, make uh, a data like whatever we would like to copy and let's go to opt i already have data fo uh, folder where i have this rsnapshot rpm and secret.txt and i would like to copy this data over um, network to this uh, server 2 just to make sure uh, that we don't have these files in our uh, server 2 let's go and check uh, well we don't have any let's create a uh, data dash backup directory okay and at the moment we don't have anything in this so okay clear the screen well rsync is really simple you just run rsync or sync with few options like options and then uh, thing to copy like folder to copy and then the server where would you like to copy it so let's run uh, and before we run our sync command I'll just show you a few options hyphen hyphen help pipe it to less and it has verbose for v q for quite and a for archive a and r for recursive but you don't need to mention recursive or if you mention a because it covers all things and z is for three switches we will use z is to compress so let's start by copying our sync hyphen a vz okay i would like to copy data folder to root at 192.168.1.245 
and I would like to copy it to opt and data dash backup. Okay, F. Now we press enter and it says that sent uh, bytes. Let's clear the screen, go back to server 2. Now if we ls, so there we are, our snapshot rpm and secret.txt is available. So that's how simply we use rsync. Okay, basically rsync, uh, like it's, the name says it synchronizes. So what happens if we have one file in server 2 which is not available in server A? And we just need to make sure that all data you know, which is present in server A should be exact copy in server B. So we can use the delete um, option. Let's let's uh, let me show you what I mean. Let me create a file over here. Uh, touch. Um, let's say some text dot text. Okay. So basically, this some text dot txt is available only in server B, and if we go to server A or project uh, like the server which is on the top, ls, and we don't have it uh, like some text dot txt over there. But uh, I just want to make sure that everything is synchronized between these two servers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the same. Uh, rsync command with the dash dash de uh, delete option okay and now if I press enter let's see what happens okay control B down arrow clear so we see that um, this some tx uh, text.txt is gone so this is to make sure that all the data which you would like to uh, need to, like exact copy or replication it's not messed with like it remains the same in both servers okay uh, one more option i would like to discuss here is how you can uh, copy something for example uh, like from server B to server A. So let's create a file again. Attach some secret dot txt. So uh, now server B or server 2 has uh, three files. Let's go and server A or LZH dash project server has only two files. Okay, what I would like to do is I would like to copy this some secret dot txt from B to A while remaining on server A. So what I will use is I'll use the same command and just remove delete options. But this time we need to mention from where we are copying and which folder we would like to copy two and I would like to copy it over here and so that's it let's press enter and we have data backup and there we are so all the folder because we mentioned here all the folder need to copy to opt slash data and we can simply just copy a single file also uh, let me show you how let's let me delete this okay to copy a single file same command but this time we just mention the file Um, secret
Okay. Over there. You can see that some secret.txt is here and the full folder shows only two files. So because we already have uh, this data folder, this data backup was already backed up. So let me do it again. I need to first delete it. And remove. So this time it should not actually copy the full folder, but just to make sure. Yes. So you have seen that this time it hasn't copied the full uh, folder, but only single file. So this is how uh, rsync works, and I hope you have found this video informative. And in our next video of our uh, data backup and restoration series, we will uh, see our snapshot. Uh, thank you, and you have a good one, and please don't forget to subscribe.